God this year. Why? And you come to church as we. No. Our relationship with God is more than that. Our relationship with God is more than that. It should be a father and son relationship. Don't only spend quality time with the word alone. Meditate on that on the word. Meditate on his promises. That is where the power of his word is produced. You don't just read it like newspaper. You meditate. The more you meditate on the word, the more you meditate on his promise, the more your eyes is opened. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So build a, a deep relationship with God. Uncommon blessing is in the deep. And to get it, you must build a deep relationship with God this year. The closer you draw to Him, the clearer His voice becomes to you. When you are closer to God, the more you are closer to God, the clearer His voice become to you. It's like when we follow our father to the farm. Our father is in the other end of the, the farm. You are in the other end of the farm. And your father is calling you. You hear the voice slowly. But the more you get closer, the clearer the voice of your father is to you. The same thing with God. The same thing with God. The closer you become to God, the clearer his voice to you. Hallelujah. So this year, please build a deeper relationship with God. He said, I, my, my sheep, they hear my voice. They know my voice. They recognize my voice. So it's not everybody that is regarded as a child of God. Amen. It is God own. And it's a privilege that you are part of those he calls his children. Build a relationship with God this year. Hallelujah. May I ask God to reveal himself to you this year so that you will not share people's testimonies, you'll be sharing your own testimonies. Hey, I'm not, the person I'm talking to is not in this service. Oh. Hallelujah. So build a really good, deeper relationship with God. Understand him through his word. And then you will you know by so doing, you position yourself for visitations this year. I talked about prayers yesterday, so I'm not going to dwell more on that. I said, let your prayer not end with this fasting and prayers. You know, believers live in prayers. And in Luke chapter 18, we came up with men up to pray and not to what? Not to faint. That was what we, we studied yesterday. We are not to, to faint. And therefore, when we live a consistent prayer life, our faith is built. Our faith is built in Christ. What built our faith is consistent prayer life. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So, it, it, it's not only you pray to receive. It's not only you pray to defeat the enemy. You also pray to build your faith. Praise Master Jesus. So, you must understand that. That whenever you pray, you terminate fear. I say, whenever you pray, you do what? You terminate fear. Because you are confident that God is with you. Amen. I'm doing teaching this year because I want to establish us in the world a little. Amen. So it will help us. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, don't use your mouth to talk too much. They use your mouth to pray too much this year. Hallelujah. So be a prayer warrior in your compound. Then, Bible is declared that there are things that cannot be possible except through what? Fasting and prayers. Hallelujah. Except through fasting and prayers. Amen. So if you want to position yourself for God's visitation, you must learn this year to fast. Not only when church announced fasting and prayers. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. That is why, you know, by grace of God, we are bringing out our program, Canada, this year. I, I declared every first, every first 
every first Tuesday of every month fasting and prayers because I believe in the power of fasting. Praise Master Jesus. Some of the things you see that happen is not just child play. They come through fasting and prayers. So, you, there are things that you cannot do except you engage in fasting and prayer. Especially spiritual warfare. What did I call it? Spiritual world warfare. Now, fasting is allowing your physical interest to be suppressed and your spiritual your spiritual body enriched and empowered. So when you fast, you are subduing your physical interest, your pleasure, pleasure of in the in the in the physical realm, allowing your spiritual body to be empowered. Praise Master Jesus. So as you are doing that, there is empowerment for victory. So this year, learn to fast and seek the face of God. Seek what? I told us long ago that there is difference between seeking and I'm praying. I am praying can take five minutes, can take 30 minutes, can take one hour. I am seeking God can take five hours because you want to hear from him. Your prayer will never end until you hear from him. That is seeking the face of God. Praise Master Jesus. Okay. So that is a different. That is a different. So when I say seek the face of God, I say spend time as we are fasting. Then you will see that God will give you your heart desire this year in the name of Jesus. The only way you can humble yourself before the Lord is through fasting and prayers. Tell your neighbor, you humble yourself in the presence of the Lord through fasting and prayers. Amen. Now, very important, tell your neighbor, cultivate an expectant heart. Anyone who comes to the praise of God without expectation goes empty-handed. I'm telling you the truth. Before you come into the presence of God, in the house of God, in every service this year, come with expectations. This is my purpose of coming. Amen. The reason why people come to church and come and quarrel, they don't have expectations. Because if you are driven by expectations, you will avoid what will deprive you of your blessings. I'm telling you the truth. The reason why many get easily angry in God's presence, they came without expectations. If you are with expectations, tell me, the woman with the issue of blood, who came with expectation, will such a woman get angry in the presence of God? No, she was carried away. I want to be healed. All I want, I want to touch the hem of the garment and I will be made whole. Praise Master Jesus. The heart of expectation is very important when you are coming to the presence of God. Settle it first with God. Settle it at home. Lord, I'm coming to this service. My door must open. Enough is enough. This attack must stop. What I'm going through must stop. That is why I'm coming to your presence. So it's very important when you are coming to the presence, come with the heart of expectation. I want this. That is why I'm here. Praise Master Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. If you are with expectation, you will not come here. I mean, when prayer is going on, you are touching somebody. Praise Master Jesus. Okay? You must focus. The woman said, I came. All I want to touch so that I will be made old. The other man came. He said, have mercy on me. I came to receive my sight. You know, Zacchaeus said, I must climb the sycamore tree because nature has cheated me. I cannot see. I will climb. So expectation. Very powerful. Very important. Esther said, I don't need the makeup and everything the world gives. I came for with the glory of God. I want to be the queen to make a difference. Expectations. 
So you must always come to the presence of God with the heart of expectation. Otherwise, instead of you to receive blessings, you will become entrance to those around you. You become entrance to those around you. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, give me a new heart. A heart that attracts you. A heart that attracts your blessing. This year, 2024. It's very important. It's very important. Praise Master Jesus. May I pray for you this evening? That you will not find yourself in the midst of this multitude. But you will be separated and set apart for God use this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You must understand this year. Fellowship with believers. Tell your neighbor, fellowship with believers. How good. How wonderful is it for brethren to dwell together. Do you know why? There is what you call corporate grace. We call it what? Corporate grace. Anytime you come and fellowship a mix of believers, what your grace cannot give to you, the Kinosian grace will give it to you. Many of us don't understand it. And that's why David said, I was glad when they, he used the word day, that means there are many, say, let us go to the house of the Lord. Because there is benefit in corporate grace. Anytime you are separated from God gathering, the people of God, you are on your own. That is why in out of the apostles, the Bible says they gather every time in one accord. They understand the power of corporate grace. Praise Master Jesus. So anytime you stay apart and separate yourself, one more, two more, three more, you are out of the covenant that binds the people together. And the devil can easily attack you and frustrate your ways. And that is why you must understand that the more you stay in the midst of God's people, the more light reflect in your life. So this year, keep this in your mind. Be surrender, surround yourself with the people of faith. With people of what? Of faith, which is brethren in the church. Yesterday, I told us, I said your associate, those you associate yourself with, can hinder your visitation. Bible said, light and darkness have no relationship. Said the two have nothing what in common. That's what the Bible said. So when you are flirting with with those in the world, your little light will begin to go down. And once it's gone down, you are cut off from God. Praise Master Jesus. Are you hearing me this evening? Are you with me this evening? Uh -huh. Keep it in your heart. It's not only prayer that will help you this year. It's your ability to know things that will draw you closer to God. Praise Master Jesus. Okay. Dwell among believers. Surround yourself with people of faith. Who can encourage you? Stand with you in prayers. Praise Master Jesus. Stand with you in prayers. Not those who will tell you, my sister, if we help those who help themselves, we'll sit down there, they look. There are voices you will not hear this year. There are voices that will not come to you this year. So, people will stand with you in prayers. Who will tell you, um, we are standing in gap. Let us fast together. Let us pray together. Things will change. Those are people God will surround you with this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even those who are we go, they say, show me your friend. I will tell you. This year, don't spend your time with people. Who, who spend time gossiping? The time they are supposed to pray with you, they gossip with you. You waste a lot of time. And you are supposed to open heaven on you. Upon you. Don't. When they are coming, say, Satan, get behind me. Satan, what? Get behind me. Jesus even told Peter, He said, Satan, get behind me. There are things I don't want to hear. Otherwise, you will remain in one place. Let me tell you, the better way to grow every year is to look at what stopped you last year and do away with it. 
people who are not helping you and they are clouding your life. They are hindrance to your progress. They are like Lot. Separate yourself from them. They don't add value to your life. Spiritually, physically, financially. Of what use are they to you? Separate yourself from them. Amen. Time you are supposed to spend praying. They will spend four hours. They talk of Sister Angela. They finish with that. They enter Sister Janet. From Sister Janet, they enter Mr. Paul. Now that four hours has gone. And if you spend four hours with God, fire will come down. Fire will what? Will come down. This year, you don't need such people. Praise Master Jesus. I say you don't need what? You don't need such people. So, knows that. Surround yourself with people of faith who can stand with you to pray. And share their testimony that will revive you. There are people who share testimony. Share that, they share their testimony with you that can move and wake your own. If God can do it for this sister, he can also do it for me. Praise Master Jesus. I'll be talking with Mama and I'll be telling her that this year we want to create a platform for the women. We are going to change it. It's going to be Deborah Fellowship. It's going to comprise the women and young ladies. Not only women now, both the young girls. It's going to be proper fellowship where they come together, pray and share the word of God, share life together so that those intending mother, the young ones, can learn how to be mother before they get here. So it's not going to just be women fellowship like, no, it's going to be Deborah fellowship. And comprises of the youngers and all coming together. I told her it's time for us to raise women of power, women of quality, women that we affect the world. The time for women to be lukewarm ended last year. This year, the women must be on fire, their eyes must be open. Who told you that women cannot prophesy? You will see it this year in this church. Who told you that women cannot pray and fire come down? You will see it in this church this year. Because women can do exploit in the kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. Okay? Finally, praise and worship. Tell your neighbor praise and worship. Don't look at your problem. Look at God who can solve it. Worship God every day. When you cry over problem, the problem remains. But when you worship God, you underrate the problem will disappear. There is a God who can answer your prayer. Is your partner in progress? Is your partner what in progress? That is why he said, "Call upon me in days of trouble. I will answer you." He said it very clear. So always learn to praise and worship God. Praise Master Jesus. Always learn to do what? Worship God. Amen. That is why this evening, I am taking just three prayer points. We're going to worship him. I'm going to worship him. I'm telling you, I'm going, after this, most of you are going to have a counter tonight. You know, God is going to show himself to you. I'm not talking, just trying to excite you. You will see it clearly. You are going to have a counter with God tonight that will prove that he, you know, his hand is upon your life. Thank you. Praise Master Jesus. Say, Lord, give me the heart to praise and worship you this year. Give me the mouth to sing a new song unto you. Because it's praise and worship that create an atmosphere, atmosphere of divinity in action. The atmosphere of miraculous manifestation is praise and worship. Can you stand to your feet now? Let's practicalize it. Just worship God. If you can speak Isha, worship God in Isha. God understands all language. Just worship Him. Adore Him. Worship Him. Worship Jehovah. Worship Jehovah. Worship Jehovah. Worship Him. God, God, understand your language. Don't say, I don't hear grammar. 
for that reason God understands your language if it's your language speak to the Lord say to the Lord say to the Lord yes
As we remain in mood of worship, we are going to take this prayer point. We are going to take this prayer point. Lift your right hand in authority and power and say, God of visitation. God of visitation. Say, God of visitation. God of visitation. Let your visitation. Let your visitation. In my life this year. In my life this year. Bring to an end. Bring to an end. The long challenges. The long challenges. The long standing challenges. The long standing in challenges. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In the name of Jesus in Christ. The name of Jesus Open Christ. your mouth and turn it to prayers now. Say to the Lord, let your visitation bring to an end the long-standing challenges that I'll be going through. The long-standing challenges I'll be going through. Let your visitation bring an end to it this evening. 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 That challenges in my life. That challenges in my home. That challenges in my business. That challenges in my academics. That challenges in my marriage. As you visit me this evening, let it bring a hand to it now. Lakanda na bashandele braduze. Put a hands to it now. Put a hands to it now. Ikodo balado lekrodo ikwasa da 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 da. That challenges that have cost you tears, that challenges that have cost you pain. Let it bring a hand to the now by your glory. Put a hand to it now. 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 Mighty name will pray. I say, in the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In Exodus chapter 14, he said, The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. I stand on that scripture, resting on the grace of Jehovah. I declare now that challenges that have stayed too long fighting you bring it yes pain to your life. This year you shall see them no more. Amen. 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 In your home, you shall see them no more. Amen. In 
In your business, you shall see them no more. Amen. In your marriage, you shall see them no more. Amen. In your academics, you shall see them no more. Amen. In your relationship, you shall see them no more. Amen. In your spiritual life, you shall see them no more. Amen. In your financial life, you shall see them no more. Amen. You shall see them no more. Amen. You shall see them no more. Amen. Shout in the air, let God say to it. One, two, three. I bring fire upon your two hands now. The angels assigned to this commission. Shake your hands this evening with grace and power. Put those hands on your head. Say with the hand of power resting upon my head. Let the yoke of oppression be broken out of my life. I connect my children to my son. I connect my husband to my son. I connect my family to my son. The yoke of oppression be broken now. 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 Open your mouth. Begin to command the yoke to be broken now. The yoke of oppression. Be broken by the reason of the anointing. Le brala la ba yakada bazoto bakada yadash. Le grodo ikwadas. Le brala na 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 machakada baladash. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we shall fire three times now, that yoke will be broken. One, two, three. Lift your right hand and say, I'm free. There is power in your convention. <laughs> the divine healer will visit every sick area of your life today. The sickness may not be your body, it may be your business. The sickness may be your home. The sickness may be your bank account. Anything that entered there disappear like a vapor. I say the healer, the divine healer will visit you now. He will heal every sick part of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your home might be your spiritual life. You lay down. It's 12 in the midnight. You remember that you lay down to pray and sleep came. You know, you carry Bible. Anytime you carry newspaper and novel, you read where. And when you carry Bible, you sleep on top. Spiritual sickness. The Lord will heal you this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even the devil knows the Bible is a mirror that opens your destiny. This year, the Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will strengthen you. This year, as you go out, doors shall open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The God of 11 hour says it with turn things around in your life i said the god of 11 hours says it with turn things around in your life that god that never come late he said it will turn things around in your life 
put your right hand on your head. Say everything is turning around for my good. Say it with confidence. Everything is turning around for my good. Confess it several times to you as the Holy Spirit is coming on you now. Instead of where he's supposed to touch, I love him because I don't want him to stress this year. And if you want to join me, I'm saying it. Join me because you encourage the drum you see now is somebody that bought it. That drum you see, somebody go look at it and say, Pastor, the other one have expired, it doesn't fit our church anymore. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, and the same thing. Almost this room is almost half a million. Bought by one person. So for this boy to drum and have joy. And when he comes here, drum for you. So you'll be happy. He don't need more strength. I don't need to be emphasizing this thing, but I'm just trying to tell you how important it is. This thing need to be it, it, you know. In the next two weeks, if it's not done, we will be clapping hand with our drum. These things need to be mic so that when the boy comes, he will, he will just be free and drum and be very happy. And so when he's coming, he will be very happy. Praise Master Jesus. And that is what one person can even do. Praise Master Jesus. So that he will, he will be very, any, you know, for about two Sundays or so, I'll be looking at it. I, I look at it, I look, and that's why I went 
personally, I went to find out because I saw the stress the young boy is putting on it. City of Kings, we are bigger than nurses. Tell your neighbor we are bigger than nurses. Uh, we are going on a journey that when people see us this year, they will say these are people who God has blessed. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, put your name in blessing. This one are the same thing. This very one. Just this year. Uh, I told you. This one you see here. Just only this. It's 180,000. The receipt is with me. By Saturday, another one will be here, which is Bofa. A bigger like this. That one is 190. You know, people, people, this year, people have given themselves to the Lord to build the house of God. So tap into it and also get your own blessings. Praise the Master Jesus. Tap into it and get your own blessings. Because they saw the anointing on the man of God. Your anointing must work for me this year. I want to, I want to make this easier for you. I want to make this easier for you. And your door must be open. Please give yourself to the Lord. That is my pain. That is my worry. So if you want to remove it from me, you will, my grace will speak for you this year. I want my boy to be happy. You know, so that when he comes, he's wrong. He will not be. You see him. Uh, thank you. God bless you. Let, let's come back to our business for today. Let's come back to our business for today. The God of breakthrough. The God of breakthrough. The God of breakthrough. The God of breakthrough destroyed every circle that the evil ones have drawn for me this year. Understand this. When the enemy draw a circle, your one will be going around it, going around it, going around it, going around it, just like that. Praise Master Jesus. But this year is not for you. Hold your hand with your neighbor. Say, I agree with you. Say, I agree with you. As we pray together now, every evil circle drawn for you is destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. This year, you will not run around circle. You will not run around circle. Prophesy, declare. Spiritually, there is a battle going on. In 
Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, for those of you who came here today with one pressing issue or the other, thank God for your life because God has remembered you today. The Lord asked me to stand on this altar now. For those of you who came with that pressing issue, walk down to the altar and lean down and begin to tell God. As you are telling God, you are receiving. I'm telling you. God has never spoken and he doesn't bring it to pass. This is God. He said, stand on the altar. Let them ask. Let them ask and they receive. Pray with the whole of your heart. Pray with faith in your heart. Pray with faith in your heart. There is power already on this altar as I walk on top of it. Whatever you ask, you receive. Whatever you ask, you receive. Cry to him, he's here, his power is here. As you ask, you receive. to the Lord. His power is in the altar. His glory is in the altar. He's on the altar. He's on the altar. The glory and His power.
Jesus mighty name we have prayed it's very simple very simple but the result has come God has settled you it's very simple but God has settled you I wait for your testimony don't keep your testimony your testimony is my signboard praise master Jesus The Lord bless you. May grace speak for you. Sister called you on a red car. Yes. God bless you. The Lord favor you this evening. Okay. Your son. How are you? Yes. Mommy need to be blessed this year so that you will be happy. Madam, everything is tied around, tied down around you. You are tied. Things are tied down around you. Yeah. Tied down, they are not working. I just tied down around you. We are going to lose it but before then. There are things that are happily in your life, you don't have power over. You just see yourself doing them. God is going to put an end to it. You hear me? Me and you know it when you talk. I don't want to go into detail. Huh? No, no. So, at the end of the day, God says, lose all that they have tied so that it begins to work for you. Hmm? And this year, serve God. Dear Tom, serve Him. Things, things, remove your hand so that the enemy will not have legal ground to fight you anymore. You hear me? God bless you. Very simple. So we are going to lose them this year so that you will see God in your life. Spirit have tormented this life for long, have taken over our mind. That have taken over our mind and have made her to become slave to you. Now, this is your end. Pack your load. Everything that gave you right by the righteousness of Jesus is withdrawn in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of one to three, leave her, let her go. One, two, three. Out now, over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Release her. Now. Set her free. Drop your hands together for grace. Whatever you have tied around our life that makes things not to work, 
that make progress not to come that make us stand make us stand in a low one two three lose them one after the other lose them now lose them one after the other lose them now lose them 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 now lose them 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 lose
you are free. Amen. Jump your hands together for grace. Wherever you have heard me from, I speak to you. Those of you that the enemy have all captive, the God who set this woman free, ask me Amen. to declare, you are free now. Amen. 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 You are free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. Madam, serve God. You hear me now? Eh? You are free. Things will begin to work for you now. Eh? You will not labor in vain anymore. Eh? So, serve God. Make the church your second house. And God will bless you. you hear me? Celebrate our sister. Put your hands together for her. Today, today's service is for you. This service is for you. Hallelujah. May the light of God shine on you. The Lord have answered your prayers. Wait for the manifestation of his glory in your life. Amen. Whatever that brought you here today, the Lord says he has been taken care of. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. he has been taken care of. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I wait for your testimony because I know that your testimony, some of you, your testimony is starting tomorrow. Amen. Yes, God is going to start doing new things in your life. Lift your right hand. I thank God and say, I receive in the name of Jesus. Just wave your hands and give it glory. Wave your hands and give the Lord glory for his blessing upon your life today. For his blessings upon your life today. For his blessings upon your life today. Lift your hand and give him glory. Give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. Jesus name we pray. So shall it be in Jesus name. Amen. 